of that shit! I make it fucking happen! Let's go! I make that shit happen, motherfucker! Got this, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All the way. All the fucking way. Pull those hips through. Yes! 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 Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Woo! That was good. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good, huh? What's up, Prime Fam? What's going on, guys? So I am finished with my uh, total training cycle and the, the strength peaking phase. I was able to squeak out some more PRs, which I'm really excited about. And I'm leaving this entire training cycle with seven and a half kilo PRs on every lift for a total of 22 and a half kilos added to my lift, which is about 50 pounds. Uh, it's a little off because I technically used a pound bar, so it's actually a little bit more than 22 and a half kilos. But it's about uh, 52 pounds, I believe, if my math is correct, added to my total since the last time um, I basically maxed out all my lifts. So really successful training cycle for myself. Also had a really successful uh, training cycle that I helped prep Coach Andrew through. He hit humongous PRs on everything. We'll talk about his lifts in a little bit. And then Kristen also ended with a deadlift PR after all of her squat PRs these training cycles. So everyone's just PR all around guys I got redemption with this 640 I came back I hit it and I hit it easier than the last time I hit 634 so my squat really went well this day that was really smooth and all my buildups felt smooth I was fucking stoked as you can tell uh, I took three attempts guys on each lift just like always um, bench press here started out with uh, 386 I believe that was uh, bumped it up a little bit and you can see I grouped these first two reps really perfectly I thought this next set was gonna go way easier than it did, but I just slowed it down so much on the way to the chest, which I always do on max loads, but it was a little slower than usual, but I still got the PR. Uh, this is actually why I select the attempts that I usually do kind of safe, so I always make them. Now, let's talk about what happened on the deadlift. Honestly, my deadlift was the only lift that I really felt actually peaked, funny enough, but I missed the top set, and just look at my setup here on these first two. So, uh, 650 flew, faster than it's ever flown. Uh, this was 690 something, I believe. I'll have it on the screen. This also fucking flew up. Felt like I had about three to four reps there. And then I loaded this uh, 738 or 39, I think, with the pound bar. And guys, I just look at all the setup I was doing. I was hyperventilating. I had fucking chalk on my head from slapping myself. I actually blacked out mid lift. I, I lost control of my body for a second. This thing flew up off the ground and the second I broke the floor, I was like, yes, I got this. And then I got it halfway, hit the little stick and then I just kind of lost it, uh, which really sucked because I knew I had that in me, but it uh, doesn't count because I didn't get it and I didn't want to reattempt it. Uh, there's no point in trying to you know, risk fatiguing or injuring myself. So just left it there, but humongously successful training cycle for myself. Kristen also finished off her training cycle on uh, another high. This was 342 here, fucking flew up, and so we knew we had a PR. We also wanted to play it safe, and this is, again, why I choose uh, safe attempts with my lifters. She kind of messed with her hip shoot off the floor. She did a very small one, and it kind of nerfed her power, I think, but she grinded through anyway, got the PR. She said it felt like she was grinding for 30 seconds. It was definitely a grinder, but it's funny how much longer it feels when you're doing it compared to when you look back on camera and actually view it yourself. But we were really proud about that. Um, that's just another PR. That was 361 pounds, I think, after all the math. We used some of the chip plates to make it um, as safe of a jump as we could while also pushing it. So that one's actually kind of like a chip um, PR and uh, I think about 10 pounds above her last PR. And then Coach Andrew here, this 20 year old freak beast, man. Uh, I can't believe this kid's 20. I also can't believe he was born in the year 99. And um, he smoked 635, which was five pounds under my PR, but he did it on plates that aren't comp plates. It is so hard, guys, to squat at max loads 
with with a bar whipping that much. You have no clue how hard that is. And he fucking made it so easy. That was literally like RP9. And then uh, that was a 35 pound PR on his max. Uh, the last time he maxed out, he barely got six. So this flew up and was easier. And then he also got a huge bench PR. 335 was a PR, which he just did there. This is 345, also a PR. And it was easy. Everything was easy. And then his deadlift also, 705, uh, was a huge PR. Now, we will admit that the deadlift, obviously, um, because of the non-comp plates, this definitely probably helped him a little bit. But given how easy it was, I think he could have had really close to this on comp plates. Uh, but the point here is everything PR'd. And in total, he added 66 pounds to his total. He added about 30 kilos um, in, in total. And the last thing I want to leave you with is look at his final uh, lifts of this cycle before he maxed out. This was the heaviest he went. And I wanted to really iterate the point home that you don't have to go heavy to make progress necessarily all the time. He, he really didn't hit any huge PRs in this entire training cycle, and yet he had the biggest uh, training cycle ever. And then I'm also going to leave you on this, the, the comparison shot between my 634 and my 640. And uh, guys, I just felt really good on that day. I just want to kind of show the little comparison. But that's the video, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like it, uh, leave a comment below. I'm going to keep you guys posted on what's coming in the future. I promise all the routines are coming out. The group coaching is coming. Stay tuned. I have more videos announcing it. I just want to bang this video out really quick and, and get it out to you guys. So leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.